Hey, Matt. Get a whiff of the new smell in our studio. What a lovely smell, Janet. It smells just like one of my old high school classrooms in here. I got one of those automatic deodorizers to place in our studio, and I also got orange tangerine scent for it. Now, it no longer smells like burnt popcorn in here. <laughs> Um, Matt, Janet. I need you two, over at the kid in bed set right now. It's time for us to shoot, the 1987, Universal Television Kid in Bed logo. We are on our way right now, Diane. I was just showing Matt, our new automatic air freshener, to take that burnt popcorn smell out of our studio. This is an old Kmart building you know. And that's what Kmart's, are supposed to smell like. Okay. Now that I have everyone gathered around, we can get ready to shoot this logo. The evil globe should be here any minute now, Diane. I told him. We were doing his logo, kid in bed style. Here, Debbie. He he he. Okay, I'm ready for my logo shoot now. Just remember everything I taught you, Eddie. We are doing your logo, in the same style, as I do, the kid in bed logo. Don't be nervous. Nervous? Ah, Eddie never gets nervous when shooting a logo. He he he. Okay. Here we go. Places everyone. Roll camera. Cue, the universal kid in bed logo. In three, two. One. Universal! Holy heck Rudy! That made my heart jump! I was not expecting you to do a sad kid-like voiceover! But the Silver Geek logo told me I had to do it. Especially since we are doing this kid in bed style. Ah, whatever. Um. Yeah. That was kind of my fault. I told Uni to do the logo, just like I do. I didn't expect he would do a voiceover though. But the script called for Uni to do his 1987 jingle after the end of the Deke 87 jingle. There is no voiceover written in the script. Yeah. And I'm the guy, who writes the script, for these logos. I knew to expect, the evil globe, to pull off some trickery like that. Well, I guess the only thing to do, would be to try again. And we better get it done quickly, before I get too comfortable, and fall asleep. Well, you can take your nap break later, Andrew. We have to get, this logo done though. Roll camera again. Q Universal logo again. In 3, 2, 1. Trademark catchphrase. Holy heck, Aruni. He he he. I know you wanted to hear my famous catchphrase, but you nearly made me pee all over myself and my knees buckle, scaring me like that. 
That just shows you, how scary Uni can be. Just his trademark jingle alone, is enough, to unnerve some people. But, that wild yell, and weird facial expression, are just enough, to make the viewer, run out of their own house. Ha 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 ha. Well, I damn sure wouldn't want him, to do that to me, while I was laying here, trying to take a nap. I told you, Andrew, you can take your nap later. We need to get, this damn logo done. Capiche? Whatever, Diane. You shouldn't have made this bed, a Tempur-Pedic bed though. It is, way, too, comfortable. Just a little FYI for you, Andrew. I designed this sound stage, to be used, for the Deke Kid in Bed logo, and the Deke logo scares Kid in Bed series. I didn't design it to be, a designated nap area, or a break room. When I take a nap, I have my own, psychiatrist couch, in my office, that I sleep on. Oh Matt. You spoiled son of a gun. Anywho, let's try this logo one more time. Roll camera. Cue the Universal Kid in Bed logo, in 3, 2, 1. Cut and print. And that, my friends, is how you combine, two, of the scariest logos of all time. I know, the universal evil world, and the deep kit in bed logo used to scare our British friend, Becky Tomlinson, when she was a kid. Now I know, she's not quite so scared of them anymore. On the contrary. Me and Uni, are still just as scary, as we were, when we was being used by our respective studios. I know you guys like to look at me in this form since it is my original creepy form. But I think I will change back to my cartoon form now since it is much more comfortable. <laughs> Much better. Hee hee hee. Now that the logo is finished. Matt, where are you taking us, out for lunch today? I thought I would take us all, to that new Guy Fieri restaurant, that just opened, where our old studio, that burned down used to be. I hear, they have a great buffet there. Oh boy, I cannot wait. I'm a huge Guy Fieri fan. I know, he always makes great bar and tavern style food too. He he he. I know it's supposed to be pronounced Fieri, but I have a bit of trouble with it sometimes. Thank you.